So this should be lesson four of our space shooter game. Um, you can see I've added an enemy formation into mine. So let's see what we've added since our last lesson. Um, in my enemy spawner, this is what I've uh, added. So I made a game object from the one, um, script you have. I've made uh, the game object of an enemy and named the game object. And we have a parent-child relationship, so um, the parent would be where you list other um, models and scripts under. So that when something happens in the parent, it'll happen automatically to the to the child. So in this case, um, for each child, um, we're going to make a um, in another enemy. So it gives us a chance to uh, create a bunch of different enemies and put them in the right position. So make sure you get this script, and then I wrote this new script and this is nothing um, but creating a position for us to put our um, new spaceship in. So you want to make sure you put this um, and save it and once you do make sure you can see that there we go. Once you do, then all you have to do, if you want another enemy, because it'll be your script here, um, when you come up, the position will be up here, and you're going to drag it back inside here to make a prefrap and then delete it. So when you run that script, just like we did before, when we had enemy, you're going to see it here. You're going to drag it in here and then delete it, that's a prefab, and then you can just drop another enemy right there. And when we run it, now we've got two enemies there. So again, the prefabs are really easy to create. All you have to do is create, um, either bring a model in, or in this case we're creating the position, which is going to be up here. And once you do, you just drag it right into the uh, Assets folder and delete it and then you can drag your enemies out or whatever. Here's my enemy prefab here. If I wanted to, I could drag another enemy out there um, and, you know, just from my prefab and it puts it automatically in there. But I don't need to. And if I did, I would have put it under my, uh, under my enemies. Down here. Okay, but I don't need to because I have these. So they're recreating them. So again, when I play this, you should see we now create as many enemy ships as you want. In this case, I've created five. Um, actually, it should be six here with the one there. Let's play it. So I'm missing the one on the side. But anyway, um, put those in, run your script, and uh, let's see if I save that. And I'm going to save my scene. And I think I'll make a game. See, notice I have different scenes here. Which do different things. So anyway, um, once you've uh, created your script and dropped these in, you should be, and then run that script, you should be able to see um, you have the different stuff in here. Wait a minute. Here's my problem. Once you move that position, um, 
into the game, make sure you put it under the enemies. That's my problem. Now I've got it. Now I've got six. So once you take um, the position um, prefab and drag it, let's, let's do that again. So once you drag it out here, there it is. We can move it around. But it's not going to be in our enemies, which is where our script is going to run. So just grab it, drop it in enemies. And when you play it, there it is. Anyway, let me know if you have any problems. I also, I'm going to put this uh, video up on the uh, Google Classroom and up on my website. And also, I've attached a couple um, enemy prefabs in case you don't want to use the ones we have. Remember, I have the new one. Um, now that's set right, um, which is this one. If you see these, you probably want to delete them. In fact, I think I will delete them because they're not angled right. I went back and changed the angle in Maya so that my enemy defenders or enemies are now facing down instead of up, and they're red.